Hi, we're at the Chicago People's Summit. I'm with Nina Turner, former member of the Ohio State Senate. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's good to be with you. Uh, Senator Sanders has called on his supporters, the movement, really for two big things. One is a fight at the party convention. Yes. And two, wage the fight down ticket. Congress, yes. state legislatures, and so on. Uh, let's start with the fight in the convention. Uh, the Democratic Party is really a united front, if you will, of different class forces, right? from hedge fund operators to Silicon Valley billionaires and Hollywood billionaires and such. Corporatists. Corporatists, trade unions, or millions of ordinary people. It's not just a difference of opinion what should happen next, it's a difference of interest. So this fight at the convention is gonna be a serious war and it's logical conclusion over the next few years. Uh, where does all this lead and, and how much effort should be put into this transforming of the Democratic Party? Well, I hope it's gonna to lead to a better America. The Democratic Party is certainly worth fighting for. It's, it's supposed to be the party of, of the people and so the issues that Senator Sanders raised all along his campaign trail are really in the mainstream. Universal health care, increasing the minimum wage to $15 an hour we see in places like California and Washington and even D.C. all over the country, for example, just using that as an example, people are fighting on the local and state levels to increase the minimum wage. Universal health care, very important. Seniors care about making sure that we expand and protect uh, their, their social security. So we must continue to push the party to be all that it can be. And you know, attention is not a bad thing. Tension breeds change, and that's the only way that we're going to get it. So I salute the people who are really holding the Democratic Party's feet to the fire and who care enough about the Democratic Party and this country to wage that fight. Because if they didn't care, they wouldn't be fighting for something better. The, the, the tension is profound, though. It's not, as I say, it's not just a difference of opinion on what to do next. It's a difference of interest. What's good for the hedge fund people ain't good for the ordinary people. Excessive greed will do nothing to increase, you you know, that doesn't help this country. 70% of our economy is a consumer-based economy, so we can't have people who don't have disposable income. This is a fight worth waiting. See, some things are worth fighting for. So fighting for $15 an hour as the federal minimum wage is worth fighting for. Universal health care is worth fighting for. Talking about the working poor and the middle class in this country is worth fighting for because as we save those groups of people, as we empower those groups of people, we really save ourselves. Wealthy folks can't be wealthy if everyday people like you and I do not have disposable income. So this is, this is well worth it. And hopefully, and there are some reasonable wealthy people who do understand that we cannot continue with excessive greed and wealth, that we cannot allow our republic to become an oligarchy or a plutocracy and that is exactly what it's going to turn into unless everyday people raise their voices so this is worth fighting for and it might not be pretty it might be messy you know to quote a, a famous senator but it is worth it that's how our nation was founded it wasn't pretty it was messy but we are the united states of america because of it and we are at a critical juncture we are at a crossroads in our nation's history about how we're going to move forward are we going to continue to leave the 99 behind or will the 99 rise up and say we the people demand access back into our government so it, it and it does it's not going to be violent or anything like that but people are going to raise their voices it's not going to be politics of decency this is going to be but politics of the real of the real deal and people who are in the elected ministry are going to have to come face to face with the people put them in office and determine whose side they're on and that's a beautiful thing all right thanks very much